a diagnosis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, should be considered for any young boy for whom there is any concern about motor delay, muscle weakness, or gait abnormalities. The easiest and most sensitive initial test to order is a creatine kinase level. If the patient has DMD, creatine kinase will be markedly elevated. If it is not, Becker muscular dystrophy or some other type of myopathy are possible diagnoses. Confirming a diagnosis of DMD is relatively simple. If the creatine kinase level is elevated, then molecular genetic testing should be pursued. Several testing options are available commercially at no charge, so families need not be concerned about cost. In patients with DMD, most mutations involve large deletions or duplications of genetic material. If initial testing does not detect a large whole exon or multiple exon deletion or duplication, the next step is to sequence the entire DMD gene. If both approaches yield normal results and DMD is still a consideration, then a muscle biopsy might be needed to determine whether dystrophin is present or absent altogether. In the United States, the average age of diagnosis for DMD is about five years of age. This may seem late, given that muscle abnormalities are present from birth, but symptoms and signs of DMD develop gradually and may not be evident in a two or three-year-old. It is important to establish a diagnosis as soon as possible because treatment can help improve outcomes. In addition, earlier diagnosis can allow timely referral for genetic counseling to provide support for the family and assess risk of recurrence. Establishing the patient's genotype can also inform treatment selection. Specifically, treatments used in patients with specific DMD mutations that are amenable to exon skipping. Several such treatments are now commercially available. These include Cassie Merson, used when mutations in the DMD gene are amenable to skipping exon 45. Golodersen or Viltolarsen, used when mutations in the DMD gene are amenable to skipping exon 53. And Ateplersen, used when mutations in the DMD gene are amenable to skipping exon 51. Many of the treatments currently in the development pipeline are also likely to be more beneficial if administered at an early age. Before the irreversible muscle damage of DMD becomes too severe, it should be remembered that DMD is a complex disease that affects more than just the skeletal muscle, and the steroids used to treat it can contribute to extramuscular complications that we monitor for and manage in the clinic. Weight gain, delay in puberty, and adrenal suppression are among steroid-associated side effects and are all carefully monitored. Having an endocrinologist as part of the patient's care team can be invaluable. Boys with DMD often experience neurocognitive and neurobehavioral difficulties, including attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, and autism spectrum disorder. These conditions may be related to deficits in specific dystrophin isoforms in the brain, and many boys are diagnosed with ADHD or autism spectrum before their DMD diagnosis. Monitoring for and appropriately treating these conditions can be beneficial, and including a psychologist or psychiatrist as part of the multidisciplinary care team can be helpful for many patients.